What's the line between acting on a prophetic word too quickly versus weighing it up for too long? You know, one of the things the Bible tells us in Hebrews, I think it is, that when people heard the word of God, they mixed it with faith. I think one of the things that I do whenever I hear a prophetic word is I look for the spaces and the places where I feel faith rise. And so there are particular phrases, particular words, particular timings that stir a gift of faith, that stir up a sense of anticipation. And I lean into that. I think that when you're weighing a prophetic word, you want to do so with some key people who can help you around you. But then you want to start acting on that. And I think one of the things that I love about God is that God's sovereignty is never expressed in an either or situation. God's sovereignty is always expressed in relationship with us. And so sometimes we could miss the timing, but he'll still bring about the purpose because he sees our heart. We see often in the line of destiny through the saints and the patriarchs and the matriarchs of old, that it was very zigzag. It wasn't one clear line. And sometimes we think the will of God is one straight line, but actually the will of God often requires little detours because of our own timings that we miss or because because of sometimes our inability to hear him, or sometimes just because God's allowing us to go to a detour because he wants to surprise us. That's okay. When we hear God's word very often, or prophetic word very often, we want to make sure we get the timing right in a way that removes the fact that God is relational. And he wants to lead us, he wants to guide us, and he will direct us. And so I want to encourage you, don't get hung up on timing, get leaning into faith. Because faith pleases God. And when we lean into faith, that's the moment that the miracles happen. That's the moment that the destinies unfold. That's the moment that God's preferred future opens up to you. Lean into faith, expect God to direct you, go with peace as he directs you. One of the things I'm more and more convinced about in these days is peace does not have to make sense to your mind. That's why the Bible says it goes beyond our understanding. Even in hearing God's voice, even in hearing prophetic words, as you're led by peace mixed with faith, you'll begin to see God's purposes open up to you.